Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. We begin today talking about forage and how OSU researchers are looking at ways to extend grazing times by sowing wheat into already established Bermuda pasture. Here's SUNUP's Curtis Hare and our Extension Forage System Specialist, Dr. Alex Roccatelli. Well, for the past oh, eight or 10 months or so, Dr. Alex Roccatelli has been looking at a way to extend the grazing period. So Alex, the last time we talked to you, you had interseeded wheat into Bermuda grass fields. So how's that research coming along? Yeah, as you can see, when you talk about interseeding wheat in Bermuda grass, it really can work, right? Uh, last fall was very difficult for the wheat to come up and really catch growth for grazing. But to the note, during the spring, look, into Bermuda grass, turn out a good stand. Of course, it's not as good uh, because it's much more difficult to interseed uh, into a sod, in a Bermuda grass sod, but we really get a reasonable stand. Uh, right now, the wheat is heading out, so it's the perfect time if you're thinking about hay. Of course, if you would go for grazing, you could start much earlier or even during the fall if you had enough forage. But if you're thinking about hay, that's the right time because on the heading, is when we achieve the maximum yield that that crop could do it. And also the quality is still pretty good. And it's also important, you know, to start that now because Bermuda grass is probably gonna be coming out of dormancy. Exactly, uh, as you can see here in our plot that we have just the Bermuda grass growing, uh, the Bermuda grass is start to green up. So that would be the right time to really finish it up, terminate that wheat so your Bermuda grass can kind of be exposed to the light and start to grow aggressively. So you, it wasn't just wheat that you tried as well, you also tried to interseed oats into Bermuda grass, so how did that turn out? Oh my, yes. Uh, first, what we did was on that plot, as you can see there, uh, first we stockpiled Bermuda grass. So we could have like the stockpiled Bermuda grass for December and then we pretty much simulated the graze, clean it up, all that stockpiled Bermuda grass, and we planted oats in February uh, last year, mid-February. But remember, after that will come all that snow. So uh, it was very difficult to get a oat stand uh, this year. And what I had learned is, right after that the snow melts and was starting March, uh, we just start to grow with the oats, that competition, and now that we could control some of the broad leaves that was coming up on our interseeded oat, the Bermuda grass start to also break dormancy and compete with the oat. So looks like that oat, it's a little more tricky during the spring to really interseed into Bermuda grass. So Alex, you're looking at extending that grazing period, but is that something that's, you know, producers are gonna be able to do continuously year after year after year, or is there gonna be maybe a fallow periods in there? Well, that is, is one of the questions of this research. And I think that the question will change where you are in Oklahoma. I would say if we are more in the east, we have more rainfall, and I believe that the rainfall is key here. And so we might have water enough when you start to move a little more west. Uh, that's where things might become a little tricky because perhaps we don't have all the rain that we will be supplying water for year after year of those two crops going one after the other. So perhaps we may need to intercede one year, skip the other. That's why I have those pipes there uh, that measure soil water down to one meter and a half on different soil layers because this water relation on just Bermuda grass with interceding oats or wheat, oats or wheat, that's where uh, I wanna see how that changes. Well, we look forward to you know seeing some more of your research in the future. Yeah, I think it's gonna be very exciting. All right, thanks, Alex. Dr. Alex Rocatelli, Extension Forage Specialist here at Oklahoma State University.